Hey guys, Jeff here, Dice Centers. So if you saw last week's video, it was about putting odds on the pass line, which I was not a favor of, but I did the video anyways, and it showed that uh, we would have won more with odds on the pass line. So I was in Vegas last weekend, and I thought, you know what? Let's try it. Um, table opened up. I was the only one there with my son, and it was my role. And the first roll, I hit uh, whatever number, forgot which number, put max odds. Now, I found out, I didn't realize it, but the casino I go to, the max odds are 10, uh, 10 times. So if you wanted to, you could put $100 back there. I didn't want to put $100 back there. I still made it as uh, 3, 4, 5, which most casinos on the strip still do for the odds. I turned around and hit that number. I was like, wow, look how much money I won. Think if I had not put the odds back there. So I thought, okay, I'll try it again. So I hit the point, put my odds back there, and the very next number I hit was the point. I did this like five times in a row. I rolled no other numbers but the point and then the point again, which was kind of scary because, like, the dealers were looking at me like, uh, I don't know, like I had voodoo or something. I had no idea. I finally crapped out. And I'm up over like $400, which was really, really strange because that has never happened before. I mean, I couldn't even get the strategy on the board. I was just too busy point hitting it, point hitting it. My son, um, and his strategy is kind of wild. Uh, he only plays the pass line and only the pass line, nothing but the pass line. But his chips grow like there's no tomorrow. So you can start him off with like 25 bucks on a $5 table if we're there for four hours, he'll have like a hundred and something dollars. And he only only sits there and does the pass line, and that's it. So I thought, well, I'm going to do the strategy with him. So I did it with him, and he hit four numbers, and each time I had not the max, you know, backing the pass line, but the three, four, five max. So each time it pays out uh, seven times your flat bet. So each time it pays out seventy dollars because. I was playing uh, on a $10 table. So it's all about strategy. I have my own strategy when I'm playing. And I imagine you have your own strategy when you're playing. But the thing is, is when other people are playing. Um, you don't want to sit there and lose all your bankroll. But the other time, you don't want to, you know, don't want to do that. Um, you want to sit there and increase your pass line, uh, increase your pass line, increase your bankroll. And so I have two strategies that we're going to sit there and try simultaneously and see which strategy should work best. Um, if you sit there and ask me my favorite sport, my favorite sport is baseball. The reason why is because there's just so much strategy. My favorite board game, which I haven't played in years, um, back to, uh, in high school, was Risk. Um, Risk had lots and lots of strategy. I was thrilled to death when they had electronic uh, Risk. That way we didn't have to sit there and move everything around. You just sit there and just, yeah, it was awesome. Um, another strategy I loved to play when uh, my kids were in um, Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, and it wasn't actually them playing. It was when they'd go to bed, it'd be the adults playing, and it was Capture the Flag. In fact, Google has um, teams for Capture the Flag where the team will win $35,000, and they do this every single year. There's books on their strategy, and that's what I try to do. I try to come up with the best strategy when other people play. And there's thousands of them. But you try to sit there and narrow it down so that you're like, okay, I'm going to just do this. If that doesn't work, I'm going to do this. When I'm rolling, I have five. I have, I've never been at this table, and I don't want to, win, I don't want to lose a lot of money. And then I, I have the, I am doing fantastic, and I'm, I'm just playing it because I'm playing on casino money. But somewhere in between that, it's all same variations, but when other people are playing, we've got to have some kind of strategy. And my son does win by playing minimum on the pass line. But is that fun? Well, it's fun for him, but not for me. I want to sit there and say, well, I started out with 100. I want to sit there and bring that to 500 or 600. But I don't want to sit there and risk everything I have so that I have to walk away and not get to roll again. So. Two strategies. Oh, one more thing. The uh, one of my videos that hit the highest was a strategy that uh, two people 
introduced, I forgot who it was, and there was a big controversy on the uh, on the comments of why I didn't give credit where credit was due, and I'm just like, I don't know who did it first, yada, yada, yada. And uh, it was playing like uh, a $50 don't, you're covering the four, no, you're laying the four, and you're uh, betting on the 10. And people say, oh, yeah, that's the strategy you use. You'll make more money using the strategy. I have yet to be at a table that somebody is, is, is doing this strategy. Yet, in the past six months, that is my highest watched video. And it doesn't make any sense to me. If it's the highest watched video, how come is I don't run into half a thousand of you guys playing that one? And all the comments are like, oh, yeah, this is the one to go. It must not be because no one's playing it. So I'm using simple strategies. Um, one, we're going to sit there and put $25 on the don't. We will sit there and hedge it by a little bit. Once the point is established, uh, it depends on what we do with that money. The other one is we wait for the come out point to be hit, and then we play the don't come bar. And we just keep on filtering money through the don't, don't come bar. Both of these strategies works great for me. Sometimes they're not so great, especially if you have a shooter or a table that seems to be hot, even though truly there is no such thing as a hot table or a hot shooter. But these are strategies that maybe you don't know about. Or maybe you're like, I want to try them. Well, we're going to try them simultaneously. We do have um, our, our special random roller, who always likes to prove me wrong. And... Uh, We'll sit there and funnel both of these strategies through. We'll probably play it uh, three times or maybe uh, three times or maybe four times and see uh, what happens. We're starting with $500, and uh, that's about all I've got. So without further ado, here is that video. All right, guys, we will sit there and start off with uh, two strategies. I think I can see, you guys can see everything to here on up. Um, so this one here will be the one that we just do the don't come bar because it's easier for me to remember. This is closer to that. That's what we're going to start off with. And the other one we're going to sit there and do is the don't pass bar. So we're going to sit there. It's a uh, it's a ten dollar table. We're going to sit there and put a quarter on the don't pass. We also are going to hand the dealer um, five bucks. But because I'm the dealer, also I'm going to make change. We're going to sit there and uh, hop. The uh, big red for three, and we're going to cover midnight, and we're also going to cover eleven. All right, shooter, and it's going to be a midnight. Well, good thing that we sat there and covered that. Um, I don't know if you saw that or not. There we go. I know there's a glare on the dice. So hang on, shooter. Um, we lose this guy here. We lose this. This guy here is going to pay us 30. We're going to sit there and still keep our hop in the sevens. We're going to put back our 11. And when this guy here wins, I always sit there and press it by one. And we will mark the... Uh, that it was a midnight. All right, shooter. And it's going to be a seven. So far, this guy here, he's just sitting there waiting, waiting for his uh, his turn. So this is going to be 15 to 1. So I'm going to win 15. 10, 15. So I lose uh, two of these. I lose this. I lose that. We're going to put back $2 to make it a full $3 for hopping the sevens. And I would also sit there and uh, press that up. And back on uh, midnight just for one. And back on uh, yo for one as well. It's going to be an eight. I did not mark that seven. Mark eight. Eight is on. And we lose all of this.
I think I did something wrong. Yeah, I did. Let me correct my problem. Um, when we hit the midnight, this one here, because this guy here cancels that, that is going to be a push. But I did roll a 7, so this guy here should have disappeared, and I didn't make that happen. And then I'm going to sit there and make it reappear again. Okay, we're on the 8, so we're going to start funneling our, our system on the don't come bar. Minimum is 10, so I got 10 there. And if we hit the 6 or the 8, we're going to sit there and put max odds, because this is a 3-4. Five table. Um, we're not going to put max odds. Excuse me. We're just going to put minimal mods, and that will be uh, twelve dollars. Um, so I hit the eight. I want to sit there and go for the six. And I have two units on the six. Now, because I want to cover this, I'm going to sit there and put uh, a nickel on heartache. That's ready to go. The shooter is ready to shoot. And it's going to be a five. So this guy here, he's just waiting on six or eight. This guy here is don't come bar. It's moved to the five. Now it would be behind that line, but I can't reach that line. And I'm going to leave it just like that. Ten dollar table. We're going to put down ten dollars back on the don't come bar. And it's an eight. Um, this guy here loses. It was an easy eight, so I do not get uh, any money back for that. We will sit there and put a quarter back up there. We need some change. We're going to put, hop the sevens, 11, 12. This guy here gets moved to the eight. And again, it will be back there, but I can't reach it. Now, because uh, there's something special that happens on the six and eight, I like to throw in some odds. These are not max odds. These are minimum odds. And most of the time, the dealer will bridge it. Um, and each, each dealer bridges differently. There's not a single dealer that will bridge the same. For some reason, they just, they want to be different. And I don't blame them. I want to be different too. Hey, okay, there goes another eight. So we lost our beautiful bridge. And we lost uh, our hopping, the sevens, and the eleven and twelve. Oh, we lost that too. Take that guy down. Back up on the eight. Um, we're going to leave that guy there. And we're going to sit there. Oops, wrong file. We're going to sit there and again do uh, a hard way, $5 on the eight. So now when you have the bridge there, you would want the player that's rolling to hit a seven so that you would win that? Correct. Okay. So being that we have the puck on, we're going to go back to the don't come. And right now, all we have is $5 on the don't. And we do have, excuse me, $10 on the don't on the five. And we have $10 on the don't come bar. And we have another eight. And it is not a, a heart eight either. Puck comes down. I'm missing a, missing a chip on that one. We lose this guy here. We lose this guy here. This guy here travels to the eight. Again, it'll be behind that, but I can't reach it. And then because it's the six, eight, we're going to sit there and do minimal mods. 
which is 12. Um, set this guy back up again. We have a $25 don't. Change. And I think I am ready. All right, shooter. It's going to be a five. Well, that's going to be better for us. Oops, that was a five. Anyhow, that was a five. Let's push it to you. Hang on a second. Okay, we're going to sit there and mark the five. We lost this. We're going to put five dollars on the don't. And we're going to sit there and Because now we can do the six and the eight. That was good. That's fine. Um, these come off. Okay. I think we're ready. We have a four. This is moved to four. Again, behind that line. I just can't reach it. Put that guy back up there. This poor guy here, he uh, he's not doing so good. We haven't, uh, I don't think we've even gotten one win so far for him. Well, neither the other guy either. Midnight. So, because that's midnight, we don't lose, we don't gain, stays the same, and everything else stays the same. Um, we'll mark midnight, we'll mark it again. And we got midnight again. Two minutes, midnights in a row. I did a video that we didn't do a single midnight. Um, probably through 50 times. It's going to be our five. Gets turned over. This gets moved to the five. We lose this guy here. We're going to set this guy back up. One, two, three. One and one. And everything else stays the same. It's going to be a nine. Mark the nine. These go down. We have our money on the six and the eight. Don't come. We have it on the four, the five, the eight, and then. Uh, this guy here has it on the uh, the six and the eight. So we're looking for a six or eight or a seven. There was a five. The don't come guy is going to lose this guy. This guy here has been traveling back to the five. And now we need change. Marked our five. I think I missed a couple of marks. So six, eight, twelve. No, six, eight, or seven. That's what we're looking for. There goes yo. Seven. 
doesn't do anything for anybody. Uh, we'll sit there and mark it. Yo. Okay, we got three in a row. Ah, it's not what anybody was looking for. This five gets knocked off. This one here gets placed back here. Add ten dollars more. We have an eight. So I finally get to show you what to do with this strategy here. This guy here, he gets knocked off. This eight gets moved back. This gets here. So we're going to sit there and get paid on that. And that's going to be uh, 14. So what we're going to do is go up one unit here, go up one unit there, and just sit on it. And hopefully we'll get another six or eight quickly, and then we're taking it down. There goes our six. So that's going to be paid us uh, 21. So now we're going to tell the dealer, take this down. Now, since you've taken this down, take this down as well. This can be moved after the point's established. This one here, you cannot move it once the point's established. So now we've We've not, we're not going to do anything with that, uh, that $25. We're not going to lose it. I know a, a seven is going to come sooner or later, but uh, right now it has not shown its face. So being that's a six, we're going to do the bridge by doing minimal odds. We're going to come back on the don't. So this guy here is just waiting for a seven. Well, both people are now waiting for a seven. It's going to be a five. So we knock our five off again. Our don't comes back here. We're going to put the five back there. Still looking for that seven. There goes that seven. So we are going to sit there and lose this guy here. That is no different than the come, just opposite. So we're going to sit there and get paid for that flat, that flat. You pay on both sides of the bridge. Okay, that was our first round. Let me get everything set up for round number two. This guy here is going to have 25 on the uh, don'ts. Three hopping. 11 and 12. All right, shooter. We have a nine.
and then we're going to put it on the uh, six and eight minimum. It's a ten dollar table. It's going to be a yo. Yo, what up? Now, if this was on the come, you had money on the come, you sit there and win your flat. Being this is the opposite, you're going to lose your flat. And we'll mark the yo. These need to come off. Eight. Our eight is going to win fourteen. Give them odds minimum. Put that guy back up there. All right, shooter. It's going to be a six. This moves down to the six. Give them twelve dollars. To make a cap on it, we'll get paid twenty one. And then we're going to tell them take it down. We're going to take down our order. And we have our nine. Oops, I didn't put money here. So this will travel here. So now it's basically a new game. So we're going to sit there and start this guy off again. Another nine. No money goes here because the point is off here. Same thing as you wouldn't put money on the come if the point was off there. Um, quarter, got that. Hey, I think I'm ready. It's going to be a three. We're going to lose these. That's going to be even for our flat. And we're going to set this back up again. Pop big red for three, 11 and 12. We'll mark three. It's going to be a four. Got our six and eight set back up again. We got our don't come bar back up. And we have eight. So we're going to lose our odds and our eight. This is going to come back. We're going to put our odds back up on there. That guy there is going to win 14. Put 
ten dollars back. So point is four. Gonna be a six. We're gonna lose that. We're gonna put this guy back on a six. Put our odds back on it. That there is gonna win twenty-one. We're taking it down. We're taking off our twenty-five. And that was a six. We'll mark the six. And we'll put ten dollars back on the dump. That was a five. Mark five. This gets moved over to the five. And one more time. Okay, shooter, we are looking for a four or a seven. And we got the four. That gets turned on. Four. This gets moved to the four. It's a whole new ball game again. We're going to set everything back up again. We don't have anything here because the puck is off. All right, shooter. I'm going to get a yo. We lose this guy here. Um, we're gonna lose this and this. This your guy pays fifteen. We're gonna set the uh, big red back up. We're gonna do one on the midnight, and we're gonna put pressure on Yo. Put our quarter back up. Be a seven. We lose our quarter again. We lose this. We lose two of these. That's going to pay us fifteen. We're going to put two back. Get change. And now we're gonna go up one more on big red. Air quarter back up there. It'll be a hard eight. that guy putting five bucks back up there's all this all right shooter and there goes a seven We're going to sit there and win flat for the nine. 
we're gonna sit there and do is this. We get flat for one part of the six and the other part of the bridge for six, the five, and the four. And we're gonna be losing these guys here. I think that's uh, plenty of play right there. Um, pay for the seven hitting, which is a quarter. Two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, eighty. So we lost uh, twenty dollars with this system here. One hundred, two, three, four. We lost uh, eighty bucks with this system here. But you see how long we sat there and played. If the shooter would rolled sevens more often, it would have benefited. You know, this one here. This one here wasn't so bad. Um, it was just different strategies to use, and I'm showing you what the outcome is on on both of them during the same game. Which one would I use? Most of them I use this one here. Um, sometimes if it rolls a six or an eight is your point and you have a quarter here. Sometimes I feel comfortable just removing the quarter and letting it play on. Yes, I know I did lose um, the $5 by hopping the big red and 11 and 12. So you lost $5, but it's best to pick the, uh, the six and the eight if the numbers are four or five, nine or 10. That's just what uh, what I found out. Tell me, uh, is this a strategy you guys use? You guys use a different strategy um, when other people are shooting? Or have you never thought about using a different strategy than your own strategy when other people are, are shooting? I'd like to know in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, my random roller was my wife, Goldbug Slots. If you haven't uh, seen her channel, sit there and look at her channel. Um, we are trying to do uh, two videos a week. Um, we are filming at the uh, the Palms now. We had a, a pretty good uh, time there. Her channel is a lot more complicated because you just can't show up with your recording equipment and start recording, even though some channels do that. But you get caught, um, they can ban you. And I don't want to get banned. So you have to go through the right steps of, you know, who do you contact? And there's there's four different people you could possibly contact, and, and each casino is different, um, which ones you contact. But uh, if you haven't seen her video, sit there and check it out. Sit there and like, share, subscribe with hers because uh, she's trying to get monetized because we are using live money with that one. Whereas I'm not using live money. I can't take this money down to the bank and cash it in. They just look at me funny. I can't take it to a casino and cash it in. Again, they just look at me funny. So she needs uh, a little more love than I need. Um, so once we get monetized, she'll get you know, whether it's 25 bucks or 50 bucks a month, at least that does help offset the costs of putting in your own money. Thanks, guys, for watching. And tell me if this has been a, been a help to you. Hope to see you guys later. Thanks.